Hello guys, what's up? This is Game Nation on the FM program video. Today we're going to discuss programming in Python and making games in Pygame. The example you see here is a um, very basic um, Pygame application. Um, I'm just going to write it for you. And we have a ball, we have some balls here. And it detects. Um, collision detection, yeah, it detects co collisions and prevents you from going a ways away from the cans. I'm with my WASD keys and so I, quit, uh, I hit Q and it quits. So this is the basic um, stuff that I'm going to discuss now. So, what I have here is I'm just going to go over the code and pretty much start it. Scratch on the two Z zero um number zero actually. So I uh, import all the things necessary. And so no, I'm not gonna talk about everything, you can figure these out yourselves. And what is important here is this these classes, they are sprite classes in Pygame, they're really important for you to um for game object management and stuff. Like uh, the collision detection here will be pretty much uh, like three times more code if I wasn't using sprites. Sprites are very um, simple and elegant way of dealing with game objects or application. Like I have these walls here. It's a part of the wall class, which is defined here. And then I say I want a white wall, x equals zero, y equals zero, with a width of width of the screen, which is 400, and five pixels um, uh, wide, so height. Sorry. Um, so this creates a um, white wall on top of the screen, and this goes over the other four walls, and I create a new player. For my class player, and I set the image to ball blue, which is set. I show here. Set the image equals I gain that image at load image resources plus image. I put them in here. I put those images here. Let me show you real quick. And these are the app resources I have set up. For now, I have so. A folder for stand if I in case I want to I want to use it. So um I think we shall get started on writing code. Get the window here. That's going to stay here for referencing purposes, so oops, caps log, okay. Import pygain from pygain. Import all import system. Okay, and it's going to um, set this into some parts so it's easier on our, easier on our sites. Right. Classes, functions. I can. Okay, and then we have oops. Okay, sorry. We have the game loop. So let's start cracking on with some code. So it's going to apply width and height to the same 400 pixels by 400 pixels. I'm just going to set my screen size. So I'm just going to set my screen size to 2 width and height. So I'm just doing this, um, doing this for 
ease of understanding. Um, I could just do screen size equals 120, but I think this is more convenient since I can access width and height differently. So, um, this is all for now, I think. I'm not going to set up a class for, for um, the function for colors. So let's initialize PyGame. PyGame uh, in it. Screen is a PyGame dot display. I'm just going to set all to our screen size. We define other vari variables. And I'm just going to do the PyGame dot display dot set caption. Just for the heck of it, and then just name it by game application. I'll just call that. And then let's get into the game. This is just some template code that I'm not thinking of any changing anything about it. While true for events in my game. Let's um, see what I can do. Yes, I don't get it. I don't get it mixed. If event type cool. Good. I'm just going to make a function here for get exit, exit out of the application. So define and quit system that exit I game that quit do system exit here. All right, so it's going to do adequate here and this event dot oops damn event type equals key down so it tests if there's if key is being pushed and if um sorry, some job here okay if event dot key equals key q I just going to create the F again. We forgot the versus here. And then down my game dot display dot update. So if we run this and just gonna say it by game cache Save it. They have a blank screen. How convenient is that? So, this was the first tutorial on setting up a template and getting started with the Pi game. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.